So when you look at all of the things in the Bredesen program and you read Dr. Bredesen's book, um, it definitely can seem overwhelming. There are a lot of things that you need to right. do for, um, and part of it depends on where you're starting out as, as, as your lifestyle. But there, even, you know, even if you're a healthy person, there are still a lot of things to really dial in and change and to adapt to. And so how, right. how did you, um, what sort of, how did you organize this or how did you approach this to make it, to get the success that you've had? Well, I, I think that's exactly right. It can, this whole thing can be overwhelming. And, but you need to do all of it in order to be effective. Um, so what I found was extremely useful, and we can talk about the shortcuts we took, but uh, Apollo Health developed this thing called the Bredesen Seven. And uh, uh, one of those, and we can actually talk about some of those, but yeah. the Bredesen Seven are what? They're nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress, stimulation, detox, and supplements. And, and following through on that was really, really helpful. And then, and then the reports you get out of Apollo Health are really helpful. And then, you know, having a guide to kind of help you sort through all that, that would be you, Dan, um, uh, is really, really helpful. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, let's, let's talk about each of those a little bit. So, um, because each one, of course, has some of its own, own challenges and um, has different things that we can utilize uh, to, to help. Right our success. So when, when we talk about nutrition and the, the keto flex 12, three program, um, right. how, how was that for you to sort of approach and start incorporating? And, and were there certain challenges that you had with that? Well, you know, the concept of the keto flex 12, three was, was really good for me. Um, so we regularly, and for those of you that don't know it, it's, it's, you fast for 12 hours and you don't eat anything for three hours before you go to sleep. Right. So typically we'll have a meal around between five and six, and then we won't have a meal again the next day until, I don't know, 10 or 11, maybe even to noon. And what that does is it raises your ketone level. So one of the tools that we used that again is incorporated into the Bredesen 7 Apollo Health System is a tool called a Biosense. And it's a, it's a breathing thing. You just breathe into the deal and it actually gives you an indication as to how your ketosis levels are going. And that was extremely helpful. Um, that's a cute little, that's a, that's a great little gift. That's yeah. a great. Gift. Yeah, it's a great device. And, you know, because the alternative is, which can provide other information for sure, but is kind of, you know, poking your finger and using blood as another way to get some ketone readings, but definitely something that. Yeah, we started out, we started out with the blood, yeah. the blood sticking thing and we got real tired of it. Real yeah, quick. yeah. Definitely something you don't want to do multiple times a day to really right. track things to see how you're doing. So, so the biosense is really, really a great tool there. Yeah. We uh, also got involved with a thing called the Zoe Project, and it's out of Great Britain, and this was not recommended by Apollo Health, but uh, we used it and found it extraordinarily useful. Uh, for 300 bucks, they send you a box, and you can go through a series of experiments, blood. Um, they you also send them a sample of your poop, and uh, what they do is they send you back a report on blood glucose, blood fats, and your gut bio. And uh, then it teaches you how to make better choices um, at the supermarket. You, you actually, on your cell phone, you could be scanning things in the supermarket and you can say, well, huh, that item doesn't do well for me. And it's all personalized yeah. because my Zoe scores are different than say someone else's Zoe scores. So that was, that was really interesting, really on the nutrition side. Now that was a cool tool that both of the, that you and Tina brought uh, to my attention too. So. That's a, that's oh, it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. Well, good. So there's nutrition part and um, I mean yourself. So we have exercise and, and of course, you know, for exercise, we know that's important because it um, strengthens our bones, but in terms of our brain in our muscles, but in terms of our brains, it helps raise um, certain chemicals in our body, like brain derived neurotrophic factor, which helps nerve cells to grow and to establish new connections. And um, right. and you know, you, you, yourself, as we've talked to, you know, you're a very active, uh, guy. So, um, incorporating exercise into your life was not something you had to necessarily, um, change, but, um, no, but I will tell you, Dan, it's real interesting. At one point you asked me, God, Chris, are there times that you feel a little less sharp and what do you do to kind of break exercise is a big piece of that. So yeah. if I go out there and let's just say I'm doing a long bike ride. 
Um, I come back, I just feel really, really sharp. Yeah. Or backcountry ski or climb a mountain or do some hiking or whatever. Um, actually sitting on, sitting down for long periods of time, it's just, it's not good for me. So yeah, yeah the exercise you, you is know, this, And uh, we, we could also take a little divergence there and say that something else that may be really, really beneficial there is connecting with nature, right? Because uh, that's, that's something that we don't do lots of times, but in the activities you do, you're doing a lot oh, outside it, it, in fresh air. And I think that does a lot for, for the absolutely, body. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. How about sleep? Is sleep something you, you've had a personal struggle with, or is that something that you've, that you've, you've worked on and, and improved as? Well, you know, I, I've been blessed with not having real sleep problems, but, um, uh, uh, Tina did. And so she actually did a lot of research and I got to be the beneficiary of that. And our show, a couple of quick little things that really worked well, because I now get between seven and eight hours of really good sleep every night. And um, I used to think that six hours was just fine. Um, but that was obviously silly. But we use something called the uh, Aura Ring. Mm -hmm. And it's think of it as a heart chest strap only it's on your ring and it measures your sleep quality. It also gives you a readiness score and it gives you an activity score, but it also measures your sleep quality, deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep. And um, boy, has that been, has that been interesting? Really, really interesting. The other thing that I do, um, which I thought was silly when I first heard about it was um, nasal breathing. So there's a great book uh, called breath by uh, Patrick McEwen. Who everybody should read. That was James, James Nestor. Was that one? I think. Is that, was, was excuse it, me, James it, Nestor. Yeah. Patrick McEwen's the guy that did the research. Yeah, you're exactly right. right. You're, you're yes. exactly right. So um, I read the book, got interested in it. Of course, I read it because Tina told me to read it. And so at night, what I do is I actually sleep with uh, tape over my mouth. And so I do really good. I do constant nasal breathing. See, I don't snore. And I'm telling you that you can actually look at my aura ring reports and you can see the improved quality of my sleep. Oh, so interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. Cool. Um, and what, what about stress and what things, I mean, uh, uh, what things do you do to, to manage stress and to try and keep your, uh, your, your mind and your mind calm? Well, I'm a big, as you know, I'm a big meditator. Yeah. I've got a, I've had a, a daily meditation practice uh, for years. Um, and, you know, every morning, it, it just, it's just one of the things that it's like brushing your teeth. You just, you just do it. And so that has been, that has been really good. I also work really hard at staying personally organized. And um, I try to have days that I, I'll set aside days that are just my office days to do all that. And then the rest of my time is being outdoors. So um, we really work hard at lowering our stress and I've got special apps that I use uh, to help me stay organized. But I'd say meditation is a big piece of it. And there's different levels of meditation. Mm -hmm. um, for people that have never done it before, it can be extremely simple and, 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 and basic. Right, for like an intimidating thing for sure. Like, I don't meditate. I don't know how to do that. Well, you know, the reality is people have been meditating in many cases. They just don't know that they were meditating. Right. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a big deal. Uh, now, for people who have been doing it for years and years and years, we're, we're, we're on to other things with meditation. But um, uh, meditation is extraordinary. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then how about brain stimulation? Uh, what, what sort of tools are you using there to kind of keep your, your so brain... There's there's a really cool tool that uh, the Apollo Health Medicine people uh, have formed a relationship with called Brain HQ. And um, I was actually extremely skeptical when I first heard about this to start with. Um, but essentially, it's a series of, of computer brain games that you can play, and there's a lot of them. And um, I was not enthusiastic because I was going, great, another form of Sudoku, who needs, who needs that? But actually, there's a lot of science behind Brain HQ, and it is not just Sudoku. It is there's a lot of different varieties of things to do, and uh, um, it's fun. I've been doing it for four years, um, and I've been in the 91st percentile for uh, men my age for the past couple of years. 
Um, and it's been helpful. It's been fun. Uh, and, and, I, and I think it's definitely made a difference. Yeah. Well, that's great. It's a, it's a way to challenge the, the brain in different ways, make sure we're using some, all those different pathways to keep those nerve pathways well, open and nourished. Right, 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 right. So, you know, there's different uh, 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 subcategories. And right. So anyway, now I, I recommend it. Even if someone doesn't sign up for working with Apollo Health or with a practitioner such as yourself, they should go sign up for Brain HQ. It's, yeah. it's inexpensive and it's fun and it's, it's effective. Yeah. yeah, great. All right, and, uh, and detox. So is detox something you've needed to, to really incorporate into? Is that something you had some, some, some big issues with or, or not so much, but found some benefits from from focusing, you know, on we're really lucky. We live at 10,000 feet, so we're kind of near the, the, the sources. The, you know, the, the water up here is pretty clean, the air up here is pretty clean. Yeah, um, so I didn't think it was a big deal, but then as it turns out, radon is a big deal up here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because you know, we live in a community that was one of the main mining centers of the United States, um, and uh, so we've done a lot of stuff on, on detox. Uh, you can really disappear down the rabbit hole of detox. Uh, so, Dan, you actually came up with several uh, recommendations, tests. You kind of helped us through that that maze, right? Which is very, very helpful. Yeah. Uh, but detox is a big deal. I mean, it, yeah. you need to kind of clean up your environment around you. No right. Something important for everybody, and and of course, like you mentioned, you can definitely focus in more and do some some more advanced testing to really narrow in and be able to to figure out the best personal ways or things that you need to really detox personally. Um, well, that's, well, that's exactly right. So I'm a big hot chocolate drinker. That's, that's my guilty sin. I love a really great cup of hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever drink alcohol. I don't do a lot of other stuff, but I do like my hot chocolate. Well, as it turns out, uh, cadmium is an issue in hot chocolate. So, you know, you did, you did, and so I've, I've, I've actually invented a whole new recipe around hot chocolate using some of the sources that I've gotten from Bredesen and from you. Right. And so I've got Chris's hot chocolate recipe. Nice. And, um, but again, it's all about detox and, you know, enjoying life without having to worry about these uh, environmental poisons that are out there. Nice. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. All right. And last but not least, we have supplements and, uh, and that can be, you know, those can be a lot of things to take and of course can be a, a fair expense as well, but are a really important part of, of helping to really optimize what's going on in, a, in an individual. What's your experience with supplements been through this? Well, uh, boy, you're exactly right. This can just be overwhelming. So um, the way we do it is, first of all, you have me do a series of blood tests several times a year. Right. And then you plot all these out on a spreadsheet, which has been extraordinarily helpful. Um, and, and, and then you actually, you actually color code the spreadsheet, which <laughs> I try to love. And, and so we're able to then sort of fine tune because we're interested in health optimization. We're not just interested in trying to kind of climb back up to normal. We're interested in actually uh, operating at a very, 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 very high level. And, and so uh, when I'm low on something, you will say to me, Chris, this is what I think we should do. And what that boils down to is a lot of freaking pills. And you got to keep the thing organized. And uh, the, so what we do is, and, and it, you, I actually remember calling you one time saying, Dan, I'm going on a long bike trip to uh, Europe and I am not going to take 24 pills a day. I'm just yeah, not going right. to do it. And you said, well, okay, let's, let's optimize all this. So you got it down. And uh, actually my scores improved after that one. That was, that was an interesting deal. That was interesting. I remember that. Yeah. 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 It was interesting, but you got to keep all that stuff organized. And, but, but having someone who uh, can help you look at the lab results, look at the trends and then help with some specificity, make suggestions on what supplements to take and then how often to take them. Uh, and then um, that's, that's, that's a big, big deal. And then, you know, you got us, you have a special deal through a uh, full script and um, you were able to pass on some savings to us, which yeah. we really appreciate because yeah. Yeah. supplements can get kind of pricey after a while. Yeah, they can. Well, wonderful. 
All right. Well, thanks for sharing your uh, experience with the Bradenton Seven there. Uh, lots of useful, useful tidbits, tidbits there. So um, thanks again.